Vim and NeoVim has some really useful mappings. To go to the middle of the screen, you can press M, more specifically capital M, then H to go to the top of the screen, and then L to go to the bottom of the screen. So in theory, very useful, right? But I found myself not using these motions often enough. The reason for that is currently I am at the bottom of the, of the screen. Usually it won't be comfortable for me to actually change the code here before I center my screen. So I thought, what if I make the capital H and capital L automatically center the screen? So in pure NeoVim, this is pretty easy, but in VS Code, you have to know some stuff to make this work. First, let me enable my mappings and I'll explain how they work later. Now, after rebooting VS Code, we can see them in action. I press capital L and it actually centers. Keep in mind this line at the bottom, this is waiting equals false. I press capital L and not only do I go to that line, it also becomes the middle line. Same thing goes for capital H. Wait for input and now I think it would be this line. So let's press capital H and here I am. In my opinion, this is already far more useful, but there is one thing that you don't immediately recognize, or at least I haven't, is the fact that now you can spam them. So L, I can press L again and again and again to go through my code. Usually, when I want to move vertically for like big amounts that I can specifically specify, I use Control D and Control U, which by the way, in my config, just go 12 lines down or 12 lines up. And actually I have a video on that. The issue with that approach is that sometimes they go way too far. And as you can see, currently my screen is not centered. Well, usually when I'm using Control D and Control U, I don't necessarily want it to be centered. So say I want to delete up to this line, I do D Control U. This is actually what I expect. If it's centered, I would get more confused. But if the movements that I'm making are smaller, it's not confusing. And instead it's very approachable. First of all, let me show the remappings for usual Vim or new Vim more specifically since I'm using Lua. So all you have to do is just repeat the L and then ZZ to center your screen. And the same thing applies to H just capital H and ZZ. No special magic required. Now I'm in pure NeoVim and let's try out these mappings. So the lowest line is this back color and so on. When I press L, not only do I go to that line, it's also now the middle line. Let's do it again. It should go to the start of the comment 10 lines down and it does indeed. Now if I press H, I'm back at this back color. Pure NeoVim unfortunately doesn't have smooth scrolling, but still, it's a bit less confusing going up and down than using Ctrl D and Ctrl U. Now, the VS Code mappings are a bit more complex because we can't just use capital LZZ once again here because the NeoVim instance doesn't know how much you have scrolled on VS Code. Only VS Code knows that. So the devs of NeoVim, or the NeoVim extension for VS Code more specifically, implemented their own functions that move your screen around your cursor. And here they are. So we have center screen, top screen, bottom screen, those two we won't be using today. Move to top screen and move to bottom screen. So center screen centers your screen like this. And here we have some cryptic function. How did I figure that out? First of all, you press colon and type in map. The output window will now contain the output of the map command, which with no arguments gives you all the mappings that you already have currently. So if you scroll through this and read this entire mess, after some scrolling, I was able to find what capital M is mapped to. And finally, I actually found it. So M in visual mode and then N for normal mode. So there are two mappings. In visual mode, it calls this function and in normal mode, it also calls that function. All you have to do now is somehow copy that because if you have 
the Neovim extension, for some reason you won't be able to select and copy it, or at least I wasn't able to. So you just type in call SNR, then for, and so on and so on. You copy it to create your own function, which is exactly what I did, along with the other things that will be useful to us. So now we can use the function that moves our cursor to the bottom of the screen and after that call the center screen function, which will center our screen. And we do this in this function, in combination. And then we just paste that function as the value of the remap to L. We do the same thing with H. After you add that and reload VS Code, then you'll have the cool H and L motions. Now, technically, this is a trade-off, because by default, the L and H are motions. So you can do something like delete until the bottom of the screen. You no longer can do that, unfortunately. But the benefit that you get, the centering, I think is worth it. So, if you found this video useful, press a like, type some comments, maybe you have a question or a suggestion. Definitely subscribe so you don't miss my content, but most importantly, stay fresh, cheese bags, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye!